Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Hello, 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 my motivators. Happy Monday to everybody. Happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers that I didn't get a chance to say it to yesterday. God bless you. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with a breakfast mukbang. And we also, as soon as I get through this, I'm going to jump right into my high, my low impact, high intensity cardio. This one is going to be a 30 minute um, ex workout that I do. And then I'm going to go and do a 15 minute workout. They, This one, the 30 minute talking everything about the body, especially fat. So it's a high intensity fat burning uh, workout. It's really good. Y'all should go check her out. Uh, and then the other one is a uh, high intensity, low impact carb all standing workout, something like that. But one is 30, one is 15. So I'm going to be doing those. And then I'll probably do like a 15 minute walk just to limber up my joints, you know, because for some reason when I get through working out, I tend to get stiff when I sit down and don't do nothing. I hope y'all enjoy the fireplace in the back. Uh, and also, we might be talking a little bit more from this book. Y'all really should go get this book right here, The Identity of a Christian. If you are new to um, to Christ, if you are just uh, repented and turned your life over to him, listen, check out this book. We'll get more into this. Let's say grace so I can get to eat my food, y'all. So y'all, I'll tell y'all what I got in a minute. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you for blessing me to live and see another day. I thank you for yesterday, Mother's Day, Lord. I thank you for all the mothers that were still here with their children, their grandmothers. I just thank you for them, God. I thank you for all of my sisters and brothers that are still here in the land of the living with me. My mom had eight kids, God, and all eight of us are still here. I thank you for my daughter. I thank you for my son, even though he's passed on. Rest in peace to my one and only son. I thank you for each and every member of my family, God, and I ask that you bless them all according to your will, your grace, and your mercy. Father God, I thank you for this meal that you have blessed me with today. I ask that you let it be a nourishment for my mind, body, soul, and spirit. Lord, dear Lord, please let it be a help to my weight loss and not a hindrance. Take out any defilement in Jesus Christ's holy name. And Lord, please bless your people everywhere all over the entire universe that they may have something to eat today. The ones that are homeless, share to them, God. The ones that are clothless, clothe them, God. Lord, just bless your peoples. Father God, I ask that you bless all of my subscribers in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover them in the blood and keep them safe. Keep all of us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Bless my church. Bless my church family. Bless my pastor. Bless her family. Bless everybody. Everybody. Leaving nobody out in the entire world. In Jesus' name, amen. Hmm. I'm back. I'm back back. So today what I have here is a fruit smoothie bowl homemade and then I topped it with some uh, pecans dry blueberry raisins that's it, just fruits and then those little dry things on the top just a little. And I have one nice um, breakfast uh, patty okay and I have my water, that's it I'm not doing no coffee so, I'm going to try to bring myself from so much coffee, because I love coffee. No, I don't love coffee. I like coffee with cream and sugar, but if I had to have the coffee black, I hate it. So, no, I don't love coffee. If you love coffee, you can drink it anyway, any kind of way. I don't like it black. I hear people say black coffee is good for you. Is it? Mm. The only thing about when you put the nuts and stuff in. You have to chew. And you know, most of when you're eating, that's what you're supposed to focus on anyway, the chewing. Mm. Mm. 
That is why doctors and stuff tell you, don't eat in front of the TV. But most of us like eating in front of the TV. My eyes just really bother me. I don't know why. Some days they do, some days they don't. I hate when they feel like that I don't even wash my face. That's how they be feeling to me. But it's okay. Mm. This, this is so good. Now I know because I'm trying to eat right. I'm not going to get in enough protein for the day. So I did put protein in my smoothie. I'm still taking the high units of vitamin D. So I'll be taking all that medicine when I get through this video. I like to eat before I work out. Because I just think if I eat after I work out, to me, I don't know. It, I, it makes me feel defeated. I'm retired. I'm at home, so I don't have to work to get my workout done. I get up, I change my room up, I do whatever else needs to be done. I make my breath, and most of the time I put my breath in on my meat and let it just take its time to cook while I'm cleaning my room. And then, most of the time when I have smoothies already made, because when I make it, I make enough for like three days, sometimes four. So that way I don't have to you know, pull it out, put some in the bowl, let it, you know, get a little soft. I didn't know nothing about these bowls. My granddaughter put me onto this. So it's good. I like it. And especially now when I know the benefits of it. Frozen fruit is so good. So, what did you guys do yesterday? was Mother's Day. I know some of you went to church. Miss B for sure. I saw her church video. I put up clips, little bits of clips of mine. I can't really put up the whole thing because the music be getting the copyright on mine. So I had to go back and mute that segment or just take it out. Or sometimes I can look up and try to replace that music with something else. Well, it's a lot of work. But yeah, we had a really nice time at church yesterday. Church was really good, as always. Um, I came home, I relaxed for a little bit. I say for about two hours and then I worked out. I did a 45 minute workout yesterday, uh, cardio. And it was so, oh God, it was so nice. I mean, I was tired, I be tired as heck. I ain't lying, I can barely talk in everything. I be so tired, I be so sweaty. And I'll just I always go in the living room and just lay on the couch with nothing number but my shorts and my bra and relax. And once I relax and my heart rate go down, then I get up, watch up. In that case, I eat. Because I always wait till after I work out in the evening, then eat. 
And most of my meals are pre-planned. I already been picking out what I want to eat. Like today I'm stuck. I really don't know what I want to eat. I really don't. I do know I'm going to do some green beans, some fresh frozen green beans and some potatoes. And... I might do some squash, butternut squash mixed with some regular squash. And I don't know what kind of meat I'm going to have yet. But it's going to be something that's in the freezer. I don't do going out eating, guys. Unless it's a special occasion. Like Saturday, we went out to eat. One of my sisters in Christ, my one of my favorite Sunday school students, took me and the pastor out to eat. Me and the pastor and uh, uh, one of my other sisters in Christ out to eat, and it was so nice. We went to Cracker Barrel. We had a good time. I had. Catfish. I wanted chicken and smothered in gravy, but they didn't have any. I could have got some fried chicken and a side of gravy on the side, but no, I wanted it, you know, fried and smothered in gravy and cooked that way, but they didn't have any. So I ended up getting catfish, well, mashed potatoes. coleslaw and that's what I end up getting with uh, sweet tea so it was really nice I could have got me some baked fish but you gotta really know how to cook and season that fish to me for me to like baked fish one thing about me is yeah I don't like bland food. I like my food seasoned well. You can season food well and don't over season it. You just have to use the right seasoning. So, that's what my day was. Yesterday, My daughter got me a, bought me a, a, a refresher from Starbucks. And, and my granddaughter. Well, that's what my mother's day was about. I didn't do really much of nothing. Besides go to church, I ain't do nothing but chill. And that's my that's my normal everyday routine, really. It's just chilling out. I think I got they had to give me some rides for the transportation to the doctor. And next week I have two doctors appointments, one on the 23rd and one on the 24th. Mm. That fruit smoothie is so good. Mm. 
cold as water bottle. If you guys want the cold water bottle, the link will be in the description box down below. Go check it out, guys. Have any, do you guys know anything about Instagram? TikTok, I don't know nothing about those things. I use them, but just for the, the basic minimum. I have a sponsorship on TikTok that I'm supposed to be getting ready to do, but I don't even know how to use TikTok. Mm -mm. I don't know nothing about putting the videos up. That fruit bowl is so good. All the different textures of the different fruits, banana, mango, berries. It's good. Well, my stomach getting full too, cause I can feel it right in the front. That is what happens when you take your time and chew your food. You just savor it. You get full. You can feel the satisfaction. Mm. It's so good. And we think this is a healthy meal. I'm sorry. And fruit. I still could have had a piece of bread with this, you know. But I'm gonna give it in this video because I want to. I'll be coming back to. Um, I'll be coming back um, with. The motivation a moment later and when we come back we're going to be coming from Ruth chapter 4 verses 9 through 14 um the title is going to be God is more than enough so that's what we'll be coming back with the motivation of moments we're going to read that and then we're also going to talk about this book again it's going to be coming from, y'all know where we stopped at on the last series. I think this is going to be series number six. And today, in this particular series, we're going to be talking about God. So, until the next video, stay safe, stay blessed, stay prayed up, keep the faith. Tell somebody you love them today. If you've done something wrong to somebody, please repent to them. Ask them for forgiveness and just make amends with your fellow sisters and brothers here on this earth. Because remember the Bible said, if you, how can you say you love me if you don't love your sisters and brothers home? You see every day, and that is so true. If you can't get along with people that you see every day, how can you say you love God and be truthful about it? There's no way possible. He said, how can you say you love me home you have never seen me? We have to make things right with people. Right here on this earth. And I know I said I was going to end this video, but that's just how the spirit works. I see so many people having good relationships go bad. 
And that is sad. All because the chick of them. I have met some really nice people, some really, really cool people here. On this app. Mm. Yeah, I can see me get out of here. This would never go to waste. It's so good. I always have to brush my teeth after it. Mm. Okay, guys, I love you. Mm. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.